some of the memorable highlights would be I remember second year planting potatoes with both my parents Tom and Francis Fahey on a Saturday evening down the backfield and um, after coming home starting the farm yeah they were there to help us get started um, also my father set up a small garden patch down behind the hay shed he had his own garden and it was lovely to see uh, they, came, they both supported us um, 2009 we built our home on the farm and we moved here uh, and we got to, you know we were able to live on the farm we were near our work so that was a good a good highlight and in 2010 we won the best local supplier uh, in the, the first Borbia organic food awards so there are a couple of short memories that I have when we uh, from over the past 20 years um, it's 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 absolutely brilliant that we're right on the edge of the town Ballinasloe so we have the best of both worlds we have the the farmland to grow vegetables we have all the benefits of the town and it's a great town and we can walk to town uh, we have all the different facilities that are available for ourselves our kids our staff as well and we have access to accommodation for them and um, all of the benefits of, of, of a great town and I suppose that's very important that uh, no business is an island it needs it needs a, a community around it and and like that we have children and it takes a village to raise a child so we get a lot of support from from the town with our children as well so it's great it's great to be to be here and local food is so important and it's the way of the future and that was always our belief and now most people are now accepting that and most people are thinking that way that local food for local people is more sustainable better for the environment and then we're doing it organically which means we're, we're better for, for um, biodiversity which is a huge issue now um, so we feel like we're, we're doing the right thing yeah a little I'd like to add to that our first market was the square on a Saturday morning I think it was 2002 2003 we just rolled up we, my father's car, we had a trailer hitched to it and we went down and um, yeah a lot of people came out of the woodwork you know we got to know customers and um, we went on to sell to them through an online shop or box scheme but uh, yeah we needed the market in the first place to give us the confidence to sell direct to the consumer and also our local credit union uh, when we started out you know the banks wouldn't open their doors to us so the credit union was there to give us a leg up and help us get started. A few years later we got bank loans off the banks then and we did great with, with local banks as well. Uh, the credit union were great right at the beginning with, as a, when we were a start-up. Um, lot, lots of different supports coming from lots of different areas including the Department of Agriculture as well. And then we had work placement students. We have lots of wonderful memories with work placement students especially from France and we've, have, we've had over 150 students here in the last 20 years. Uh, we have three at the moment from France and they're horticulture students on work placement and they work here all summer and they're absolutely brilliant and they're a great addition and they great, bring great um, energy to the farm as well because they're young and they've a great added, great work attitude and work, work, work ethic and it's great to have lots of different cultures and lots of different nationalities around which we have too on our farm we have national, people from all over the world working here and it just brings great buzz to the place as well so on Saturday the 10th of September, we're going to have an action-packed day. We, we start with our market, we have food stalls, veg stalls, food on display from 10 till 5. And then during the day we have a mix of walks, we have an organic uh, vegetable walk with the Irish Organic Association at 11 o'clock. And after that we have Martin O'Donnell, formerly of the 12 restaurant in Galway, who's doing a food demonstration at 12.30. We have a special visitor in the afternoon from the, the Barn Owl project, Aaron. Aaron the Barn, Aaron the Barn Owl is coming Aaron to the visit Owl. us. Yeah. Uh, John Carrick is from uh, Ballinasloe and he has set up the Barn Owl project. Really, really important um, project basically to help the barn owls to survive in this environment and as we all know a lot of wildlife is endangered and the barn owls are very endangered but um, he's doing great work and he's from right here in Ballinasloe just over the road yeah and, and in the afternoon afternoon we have a biodiversity walk with Una 
and um, does someone, uh, someone else join you to confirm that yet and we've also a session on mindfulness and meditation with our wonderful neighbour Brendan Harding. Brendan Harding and there'll be music during the day and um, children's entertainment yes sorry there'll be, there'll be children's own bouncing castle and That's the organic veg stall you can buy our lovely vegetables as well here so you'll learn how how we grow them and then you can buy them as well in the day and there'll be refreshments as well so it'll be an all-round fun day and a little some music during the day and then we've also a, a DJ in the evening for ourselves uh, for staff and anyone who wants to stay on for that so that's and after seven yeah, in the evening and, and, it, and it, we're, we're planning for sun but if if something happens with the weather we have a lovely big polytunnel that we can have our events on in, in as well and we will also have a, a marquee so anyone in Banasloe or in the environment of Banasloe or someone you'd know who'd be interested in getting involved in organic farming who wants to come and sample, come and buy some lovely produce, you know, tell them to come here. Um, it's the same weekend at the Larry Reynolds Music Festival, so just two things to, 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 to attract to you in, in Ballinasloe. Yeah. And um, anyone we've met over the years, you know, come you know, come on a day. Especially our customers, we'd really like you to come and have a nice day out, and because you've been so good without our customers, we wouldn't be here. And every day, our wonderful people all over Ireland buy our vegetables and we're very grateful for them as well. So you're all welcome to come too, of course. We'd love to meet you. <laughs>